Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, and that means it's time to... Cars! Cars, what are we doing? Open cars. Open cars. All right, up first, package from Brian Hill. Be careful, that's why dad does this part, right? Alright, let's see what's in here. Alright. So this is a number 16 Matchbox Lesney Super Atlantic trailer. Um, these things these things have gone a little nutty lately um, on eBay. It seems like um, these and the the earlier version in the brown um, have just become like super super desirable um, and i was able to pick this one up for less than 10 bucks so um, pretty excited to have I've, I've watched these for a long time i've watched a lot of different auctions i found models that were in that price range that you know the ramps were bent or were broken or missing um, but this one's intact it's original it is a black wheel uh, version, so it's one of the later models, um, but was really super excited to get this at the price I found it for. So this one, this one, who's this from? Who's this from? Let's look. It's from John Camp. You get it. What is that, Mac? It's a pinwheel. What is it? It's a pinwheel. Yeah, it's got the wheel on the back. It's got a ladder on the top. What do you think that is? It's a, it's a fire truck. Oh, yeah. It is. It's a fire truck. It's missing the wheel on this side. Um, so we've got an intact wheel here missing the one on this side. I'm not sure if that is something that I can get uh, replacement pieces for or not. It's held on with a pin, so it's certainly something that, from a restoration standpoint, we should be able to remove that pin and restore that. Um, you see this little point on the ladder's kind of bent in. Um, but I've been making it a point lately to try to fill out and complete Kind of the earlier parts of my collection um, some of these earlier models you can see this has uh, the metal wheels the crimped axles um, and so super excited to get that um, and again with prices kind of going a little nutty lately um, was able to pick this one up because of the damage to it uh, for significantly less so excited to have that one as well this one this, this doesn't say who this is from Oh, I think I know what this is. This is not an eBay purchase. Um, as I mentioned, I, I follow a lot of different auctions and different online sites, different listings, and it seems like lately, I don't know if it's just a... It's a tow truck. It's a tow truck. I don't know if it's an influx of just new people that are starting to collect that don't have a handle on kind of what reasonable prices are, but um, prices on eBay have gotten absolutely insane um, and this was uh, all these cars that I'm going to show you here these came um, from a, a, another collector uh, on one of the Facebook groups on the Facebook pages and I paid three dollars a car for these um, which is a, I think a very reasonable price um, for any of the, the later series models 
Um, see this one, we're missing the driver. It's missing some of the decals, but it does have all the wheels and tires. Um, and the paint is not in bad shape on that at all. So um, I think a lot of people are under the impression that eBay is the only source to find cars, or the only place that you can get stuff. Um, and that's just simply not the case. Um, Facebook has been a really good, the, the Facebook Marketplace has been a really good source for me. In fact, some of the nicest models that I have, um, I have acquired through different listings on Facebook. And, you know, a lot of times I can go, I can meet with somebody face to face, I can bring my, my collector's catalogs, I can bring, I keep track of what I pay for every model that I have. So I can tell them, you know, kind of how much I've spent on these previously so that I'm fair with them on the value. Um, you know, $3 for this car was maybe even overpaying for it. It's missing the top. Um, does have the tow hook intact, which is always nice, but you know, this is rough play worn. This is a much earlier model. It's missing the trailer, obviously. I do have a, a full, com uh, complete copy of this set. Um, but $3 for this, what a steal, man. This is, a, this is a, a model that I have not had yet, just because it seems like every time I find one, it's $40 to $50. Um, and this has the driver intact, uh, still has the original decal on it. Um, all the wheels look great. It's play-worn, um, but $3 all day long. Absolutely, I will buy that for $3. Um, some of these others, this one, hey, this one looks like it might be a great restoration candidate. That bottom is pretty bent in there. We're kind of low riding down on the chassis. Um, you know, all the original paint. I, I think this is the uh, Brook Bond T. Um, that's all missing, it's all gone, but, uh, you know, again, I've got one of these, but this would make a great restoration, um, or maybe even a custom. This one might, at, to the point it's in, it, it may not even be worth, um, just restoring. This one might make a really fun custom to do. So, and then, um, our, uh, ice cream truck, uh, as you can see, this one, the little dude has... The problem that most of these do, he's missing his ice cream. Um, but I think I've had a couple of these in, in some mail bags. Uh, the reason I picked up a few of them was if I was going to do restorations on them, I'm going to do them all at the same time, all at once. Um, so again, three days, uh, three dollars all day long for something like that. And then take a look at these. Three bucks. Um, so this is, you know, this is proof that uh, you don't have to go on eBay and spend $50 for a car to get a nice car. Um, this is near mint, very slight, you know, play wear pieces in there. Beautiful original decal, uh, intact, a little nick down there on the front. Um, the red interior, yellow. Most of the wheels and tires on this are actually even pretty tight. Um, $3 all day long I will buy that car for three bucks uh, I've got another one of the race cars I've got almost almost a complete set there um, we've got the mini the uh, MG 1100 these things I've got a soft spot developing for these um, I've got far too many of them in my collection but it seems like every time I find a grouping um, where I'm, I'm buying a whole bunch of models at the same time. There's always one of these included. And this one's perfect. I mean, tow hook's intact. There's not a scratch on that paint. It, that's not play-worn at all. Got no oxidation on the base. The glass is intact. Um, that is a beautiful, beautiful example of that car. $3. Um, Ferrari Berlinetta. I've got a couple of these. I have a mint one of these, um, but again, this one's in great shape, great condition. Um, for three bucks, I'm not going to leave that on the table. Same with this. I've got uh, five, six of these, um, and I I got a restoration coming up on one of these. Um, but again, for three bucks, I'm not going to leave it behind. I've, I've got to have it. And then, super excited about this one, the field car. I have uh, several different ones of these. 
Um, and this one is by far the most complete, most intact. I have some that are, are missing wheels, either on the sides or the back. I've got a couple that are missing the canopies. Um, this one is complete, um, has very few uh, nicks or, or play wear on it at all. Um, and I'm gonna keep this one just exactly how it is and just add it into my collection. And then last, a uh, Visco Static bus. Um, I'm very close to be being complete um, to having one of each of the variants of this. Um, so I'm gonna have to double check to see if this is one of the ones that I'm missing still, or if this is just a really nice example. See slight play wear there, a few little scratches, but um, again, for $3 each for all of these cars, um, absolutely incredible deal. Um, and so I wanna say a big, big thank you to uh, John uh, from, our, from the Facebook page um, for selling all of these cars. And he has a lot of listings. They're up there all the time. Um, and it, it blows my mind that people uh, you know, struggle to sell some of these cars at two or three bucks a piece on Facebook, and then I turn around, you know, and I see something like this that would probably go for 30 or 40 bucks on eBay. So, um, a lot of this really is just knowing where to look, um, treating people right, especially, you know, I, I probably wouldn't have paid three dollars for these cars if I hadn't bought all of these cars. Um, and you know, shipping everything, I think it was less than 50 bucks for this entire lot. I mean, if, if we look here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cars. Um, so $45 plus shipping. I, I think I actually paid like $47 for this entire lot here. So there are still good deals to be found. Um, and I know it, it sounds like I'm ranting a little bit on, on the uh, flea bay, but one of the big detriments of people overpaying for cars on eBay is that that adjusts eBay's uh, pricing algorithm. So when uh, new people come on and they say, hey, I've got one of these, eBay pulls the past records of all the recent sales and says, well, you know, the last six of these have sold at $85. So, you know, that's a, a price that you should expect to pay for a model like this. Um, so every time somebody overpays for a car, it just kind of drives the price up across the board for everybody else. Um, and it's a reason that I'm looking outside of eBay for uh, possible purchases. Um, so super excited to get all of these. Huge, huge thank you to John. Um, like I said a lot of these I think are, are valuable and I'm gonna keep them just how they are. But we do definitely have a couple in here that our candidates for uh, restoration. So look for those in future videos. Thanks for joining us this Saturday. As always, don't forget to click the like button, comment below on what you think. I um, love to hear from you. We try to read through all of our comments and uh, respond to the ones that I can. And as always, don't forget to click that subscribe link so you can keep up with us, everything that we're doing. We will see you next week for another mail call. You say bye?